Hi YouTube, uh, this is Mad Gamer 1988 um, I just did a test screen record just now um, with Safari and bringing up Google um, and it, it came out pretty well um, so this is my first proper screen um, recording that I'm doing for you guys um, I just thought that I'd go through some of the features um, in OS X. Um, obviously, for recording this, I'm using the recording feature that's included with QuickTime X. Um, this is Snow Leopard that I'm using. Um, so, the first one, I think, I the first feature, um, in fact, that I think I'll show you um, is Safari. Now, this is the most up-to-date version, um, version 4, um, and as you can see um, on, on my Mac, um, certainly it, bring, it brought it up pretty fast, um, and of course this is Apple's website, um, okay, so I'll close that for a second, close that completely, um, Next feature I will show you is Adium. Now this is a multi-protocol instant messaging application for the Mac. Now I could use iChat, which is also down here, but the reason I don't is because I simply don't know anyone um, who has an AOL instant messenger account. Um, all my friends use MSN. So um, I use Adium. And what you'll notice is when you have an application open, um, depending on which one you're using, so if I launch iPhoto, the menu changes. So whatever application you're in, the menu will change. Um, all applications have their own preferences. Um, so for example, for iPhoto, we've got um, preferences for general, appearance, events, sharing, web and advanced. Okay, and what you can do, excuse me, oh, there we go, um, is, let me just shut down Adium. Um, is take a photo with the inbuilt eyesight camera with an application called Photo Booth. Now, let me just get rid of that. And press enter. Now, when you go into Photo Booth, you will get an image come up on the screen. Um, if you press this button here, it will take your photo after about three seconds, I think it is. Um, once it's done that, you can then um, output it into um, iPhoto, save it, and then upload it to somewhere like Facebook, for example. So I'm just going to close Photo Booth, because I don't like too many applications open at once. Um, that might be me just being a neat freak, but there you go. Um, I won't show you GarageBand for the moment. Spaces is quite cool. Um, this this um, little application you've got allows you to, say for example, you've got too many windows open on one desktop, you can bring up Spaces and then switch to another window, which will bring like another desktop in view. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and um, another pretty good feature that I like um, is called Expose. Now if we just open a load of random windows here, um, we'll open the calendar as well. Okay, so I've got too many windows open at the moment, so I can't see um, where the application is behind. I think it was ADM I opened. So I'm just going to press F3 and then select Hadium like that. 
and it brings ADM to the front. So I'm just going to quit that. Oh yes, and a quick way of quitting an application completely is pressing Command and the Q keys on your keyboard. Um, you've also got the dashboard, which um, is full of useful little widgets. This iStat Pro um, wasn't included and I had to download that. Um, As I say, this is really useful because it gives you um, information about your basically your the components of your PC temperatures, um, your wireless network, your memory, um, and battery charge, and the calculator and the calendars quite useful as well as is the weather widget. So just to get out of that, you just Go to an empty here on your desktop like that and click. Okay, that's it. I will be back shortly. Thanks for watching.